Tonight we're making balsamic and rosemary rabbit for dinner. Hi everybody, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. My name is Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead and uh, tonight we're making rabbit for dinner again uh, but it will be balsamic and rosemary rabbit this time. Uh, now over the summer we uh, filmed a pretty extensive how-to series on how to raise rabbits for meat. And uh, during that series we kept getting uh, requests from our viewers uh, to do rabbit cooking videos. And uh, we actually love rabbit on our homestead so we put together actually our top 25 family recipes, our favorite rabbit recipes, and we created a cookbook. Uh, we have that available for you all um, on our Etsy store. You can buy the paper version just like this uh, through Etsy, or you can um, buy through Amazon.com and uh, get a uh, ebook version. We're actually giving away one of our cookbooks right now, along with other gifts. Uh, we have a giveaway right now because we are so close to 5,000 subscribers. Uh, so if you want to get in on that giveaway, uh, I will put the link to that video up here and you can follow the instructions and win a bunch of cool prizes. Uh, so we're making rabbit tonight. I'm excited to share this recipe with you. It is so easy. I am going to follow um, my three rules for cooking amazing rabbit. Uh, those are to cook it low and slow, to cover it with a sauce, and to cover it with foil while you bake it. Um, so, like I said, this recipe is super easy. Anybody can do it. Uh, we're starting out with one rabbit. Now, one rabbit is uh, plenty of meat for our family, uh, but you could easily do this recipe with two. Um, I've cut up all of the rabbit pieces already. And I actually have a really good video about how to cut up your rabbit, and I'll put a link to that video up here. Now, uh, we're starting out very simply with uh, some chopped rosemary and some minced garlic. And I already have that in my little mixing bowl. Uh, and we're gonna add balsamic vinegar. We're gonna whisk that up. I'm going to let that sit there for a second because I'm going to sprinkle the rabbit pieces with salt. Not too much, not too little. Now on our homestead we use pink Himalayan salt um, and I get that actually uh, through Amazon and you can find a link to that in our Amazon store um, and uh, our Amazon store link is in the description. I buy it in bulk and it's a very good price and I can choose the thickness of the grains. Okay, now the next step, since we have those things done, the next step is uh, to drizzle this balsamic um, garlic rosemary mixture. We're going to drizzle that over all these rabbit pieces. And I'm using a, a rubber scraper, rubber spatula, to make sure that all of the rosemary pieces get down in there. And we're just going to pour that on these pieces. Just like that. But I'll tell you what. This didn't cover the pieces like I wanted to, so I'm actually going to flip them over a couple times because I really want that that vinegar, that balsamic vinegar uh, flavor on all sides of the rabbit. One thing I also didn't tell you um, is that before I put the rabbit pieces in this baking pan, um, I sprayed it with some olive oil. Uh, it's important for you to oil your pan, especially if you're not using a nonstick pan. Uh, we don't use nonstick pans. This one is actually like glass or corningware or something like that. Okay, so this looks this looks great, okay? So all the pieces and all of the uh, herbs are on there. Looks fantastic. Okay, the next step is we are going to drizzle over these pieces of rabbit with some olive oil. Now this will make it just taste wonderful and it will mix with uh, the balsamic vinegar and just make a really nice flavoring sauce that we can spoon over
over the rabbit later. The final step is we're going to sprinkle some crushed red pepper on top of all of these pieces as well. I'm going to go a little bit on the light side, lighter than I would probably want to, but we've got kids in the house and they are pretty sensitive. Okay, that's it. We just need to cover it and get it into the oven. We're going to bake this rabbit in the oven until the internal temperature is between 160 and 165 degrees. Now it's time for me to move on to the sides. We are going to serve our rabbit tonight with roasted onion potatoes and some fermented carrots. Okay, you guys, everything is done and it turned out perfectly. Uh, the rabbit looks fantastic and so do the potatoes. So it is time for me to start plating. We're just gonna get one ready for Kevin. That's what I do on my other video. So we're just gonna give him this nice big leg here. And we'll give him a nice little front leg too. Two pieces. Give him a nice helping of potatoes, onion, roasted onion potatoes. And a side of fermented carrots. There we go. Nice dinner. Family will enjoy it. And uh, that's what we have. I hope you guys try this. Um, if you want the full uh, recipe, you can pick up our cookbook on Etsy or on Amazon. Or you could win our giveaway and receive one in the mail with the rest of our prizes. Uh, you guys, I really appreciate you stopping by the homestead. Uh, if you haven't been a subscriber yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, give us a thumbs up. And hey, if you have something to ask or something to share, go ahead and use the uh, comment section below. Until next time, you guys, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.